In this video, we're going to discuss processed glass. Tougher or tempered glass is a processed glass. It's four to five times stronger than normal annealed glass. When shattered, it breaks into rel small, relatively harmless particles, which reduce the risk of injury. Toughened glass has greater flexibility to anneal glass and can resist sudden changes in temperature. It, one thing it can't be done, it can't be cut or processed after toughening and it's regarded as a grade A safety glass. Toughened glass has much higher surface compression and, and opposing tensile stress than normal glass. The process for reducing toughened glass is normal float glass is put into a toughening furnace and heated to a temperature of approximately 650 degrees C. It then is indexed into a quench where it is quenched with air, cooled very rapidly. This increases the compressive stresses. Some students will be able to have a look at that when they come to do the factory tools too, won't they, Gary? Yes, they will. Very interesting process. Toughened glass can be used in doors, side panels, low-level glazing, shower screens, balustrades, structural assemblies, overhead glazing and furniture. I see. You've got a couple of question marks there against balustrades and overhead glass, Gary? Yes, I do. I don't believe they are product, toughened glasses should be used in these applications because the consequence of failure means the product could evacuate the opening and someone could get injured. We don't believe as a company that this type of glass should be used in sheer walls as well as we are concerned about the public safety. There are many examples around of balustrade and toughened glass falling out of buildings. In Brisbane alone, we have three buildings, Waterfront Place, AD Albert Street, and Boeing House, where glass has fallen from the building. When that toughened glass breaks, it breaks into small particles, yet it can still remain clumped like a jigsaw puzzle in very heavy masses, can't it? And Definitely does. a lot of damage. Yes, it can, especially the thicker the glass is as well. It will tend to, to stay clumped. And particularly in balustrades, as this slide shows, the toughened glass could be broken and evacuate the opening and you may not even notice that it's not there, can you? Very true. And that's, you know, it could be very dangerous for a small child. One of the reasons toughened glass fails is due to spontaneous breakage as a result of nickel sulphate inclusions. Are you saying it can break at any time? Yes, it can. These particles are very, very small and they can get caught by the toughening process in an unstable phase. Over time, it could be a month, a day, or years, 30 years in the case of waterfront place. And you think your glass product's better than aluminium? Definitely. <laughs> it will try and revert to a stable phase. If it's in the tensile re region of the glass, it grows by approximately 2 to 4%, but because of this high stress in the glass, the glass breaks and can evacuate the opening. The Building Code of Australia it requires all toughened glass in elevated situations to be heat soak tested. We don't believe heat soaking is the, the solution because it only eliminates about 95% of potential inclusions which can fail. So there's still the risk of, damp of breakage of toughened glass from spontaneous breakage even after it's been heat soak tested? That is correct. Yeah. So there's no clear way of preventing toughened glass breaking? That's right. That's why we don't believe it should be used in these applications. One of the products we do believe could be used is heat strengthened glass. It's produced in a similar manner to toughened glass, except that the glass is not cooled as quickly, so therefore the compressive stresses aren't as high. It's about as twice as strong as anneal glass and still has resistance to thermal breakage. As with toughened glass, it can't be cut or processed after furnacing. But unfortunately, it is not a safety glass, so it needs to be combined with other products. So it still breaks in large, sharp particles yeah. from normal anneal glass, does it, Gary? It breaks in large particles like anneal glass with more curved, rounded edges. One of the characteristics of heat strengthened or heat treated glass, as shown in the slide, is roll wave distortion, which you can clearly see, which is a lot of times very objectionable to clients, cousin, and strain pattern which you often see with polarised light, or if you're wearing a pair of polarised sunglasses, you can see this on glass. Laminated glass is another form of glass, processed glass. It combines two or more pieces of glass and then one or more interlayers. If broken, this glass tends to hold together. It's referred to as a grade A safety glass. 
I'll just point out to you, Gary, how good I think the laminated glass is. Quite often when we're conducting testing on full-scale facades, the laminated glass might break under the wind load and we'll still continue to take that wind load and progressively higher wind loads without actually failing in evacuating the window. It's amazing how strong laminated glass is in post-breakage condition. That's why I think we believe it's a very good product. The type of interlace that can be used with laminated glass is polyvinyl neutral, the most commonly used, which can be available in a clear and a range of tints, and acoustic and structural as well. Resin pour, which is not widely used in this country. Ethylene vinyl acetate, or EVA, very much used in the, pole, in the solar industry with photovoltaic arrays. And a relatively new product in the market, Century Glass, which is an Ina Plus interlayer, which is a very, structure, very stiff structural interlayer. The benefits of laminated glass are safety, sound reduction, security, heat and glare control, and UV elimination. Any laminated glass will block greater than 99% of the UV, reducing fadings of furniture. One of the characteristics of laminated glass is that delamination, around, especially around the edges, may occur. You can see that in this slide. A question for you, Gary. If laminated glass is so good, and toughened glass is so strong, surely a toughened laminate will be the best and safest product, is it? No, I would recommend a heat strengthened laminated glass. So it doesn't have the strength of toughened, but it has the post breaking characteristics which are good. Laminated together, you end up with a great product which will not evacuate the opening under any situation. So there's toughened glass which breaks into small fingernail sized pieces. When laminated together, if both of those toughened lights break, it will just be like a big heavy wet blanket and will have no strength, will it? Correct. And it will pull out them. and evacuate the opening as a large, heavy, dangerous mass. Definitely, that's correct. So two rights in this case, unfortunately, make it wrong. Major. In the next video, we'll cover more on processed glass.